Mm. So you got players like Marcus Rashford, who even though he plays out wide, he's the main man, whether you like it or not. He shouldn't yeah. be, but he is. Do you know what I mean? And there's more, there's more spotlight on these guys. And also because they've got the responsibility to score goals, they don't pass no more blood. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like as a as a striker, you're now a donkey. That's what you are because you're just a donkey that presses, but mm. you're not the focal point of the team. Mm. Like it's all about getting the ball to these wide players. Inside forwards, they're still wide players because they play out wide, innit? I I mm. don't call them wingers for a reason because they're not wingers. They're wide players, whatever. Do you know what I mean? So it is what it is. They're still yeah. strikers, innit? But these guys are greedy. And these guys oh, are yeah, judged yeah, yeah. and these guys are judged on goals. So if you're judged on goals, first and foremost, then naturally your sis are going to dry up because these guys, if they don't get if they don't get goals, then you fall into you fall into the Grealish mode where it's like, cool, like you're not putting up numbers, so you're not good, bruv. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, is it like what is it? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Who knows, innit? The bottom line <laughs> is if these guys are not putting up numbers. These men can't justify playing anymore. And, and this, this is a very is the, strange This thinking. is the problem. So the strikers are dying. The strikers mm. are dying now. They're not getting service, bro. So it's one of them things where he's saying if Hoyland was the main guy, if Hoyland was the main guy, um, he could maybe speak to Rashford, but maybe he can't speak to Rashford and this, that, and the other. Like, I don't necessarily believe that. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? You can't speak to Rashford. Listen, if I'm no. a striker and I want the ball, I want the ball, like, fam. But, but this is what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, I believe as a forward, yeah, it's still your it's still your responsibility to build enough of um a a relationship with your teammates for them to know how you want it. Like mm. at any level, I've always made sure, yeah, bro. I know if I don't get the ball, I can't score. So I'm telling man, listen, this is how I want it. Don't do this. I don't want it like this. Do you know what I'm saying? The amount of times, bruv, you play over my head, I'm not chasing it. Categorically, mm -hmm. it's not happening, yeah. so don't don't bother. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I'll tell you where to play me the ball, and I'll also tell you what kind of runs to make off me. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's all about partnerships, bro. Just like you have centre-back partnerships, you have centre-forward partnerships. Fair enough, we don't play two strikers no more. There used to be partners, mm. partnerships between the fullback and the winger. Neville and Beckham had a famous relationship. Everyone knows about it on and off the pitch you need to have a relationship Hoyland needs to sit down with Rashford and say listen brother when you get the ball here I'm gonna make this run I'm gonna be here give it to me I'll even lie to him and tell him I'm gonna give it back I ain't giving it back but do you know what mm. I mean I just be like yo give it to me here like I'll, I'll give it back but he needs to chat with him if he's gonna if he's gonna come in and do the little silent thing like oh I'm the new boy and that bro you know what I'm saying but that man say a closed mouth don't get fed in that blood that's crazy but, th but then again, it, it goes back to what you said about Rashford being selfish. Rashford already wants to be the main guy. And yes, he comes out in interviews and says, we're working on our partnership and all that. Mm. Number one, that's not true because we can clearly see it on the pitch. You're not looking for him. And when he's looking mm. for you, when he's, when he's holding it up for you, giving you the ball, running into the box, that should be a, a trigger to you, but you're not passing it to him. So all this partnership talk, don't lie to us, please, because clearly mm. you don't care about it. You don't. So, as much as I agree with you that Hoyland needs to speak up if he's not speaking, Rashford mm -hmm. needs to, he's been here for time, so he needs to bring him in and be like, yo, what can I do for you? How can I, how can I help you be better? Do you know what I mean? But yeah. we, we ain't seeing that, do you know what I mean? To have a good partnership, it takes skill, vision, but also it takes humility. You need to be able to put yourself in the background and be like, all right, cool, how can I make my partner look better? You know, I mean, that's why we see all these iconic partnerships that we've had in the past, like you just mentioned. So as much as I agree with um, you saying that Hoyler needs to speak up, Rashford needs, mm. to take, needs to take a step back and go, how can I make Rasmus better? How can I make him shine? Wow, he's not scored in the Premier. How can I help him? Yeah. We ain't seeing that. We're not seeing it. Yeah, but the thing is, Rashford actually passes to Tony. Th this is the funny thing. And this is why I say about building relationships. Like he passes to Tony. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's a trust thing why he passed him the ball. Probably he passes Tony the ball because he knows Tony will give it back to him. Do you know what I'm saying? Because Tony isn't selfish at all. If you give Martial the ball, like Martial always looks for Rashford. Always. Them two link up very, very well. But he's the only player that Rashford links up well with. So it might just be a brethren thing. It might be. Or maybe it's a thing where if I give him the ball, I know he'll give it back to me. So I'm happy to give him the ball, in it. So I'm not really quite sure it is, but that's not my problem. 
that's mm. Hoyland's problem. He has to work out. He has to work out how to get the best from his his partnership with Rashford. Because at the moment, Rashford's the only player that is guaranteed to play up there with him when he's fit. Because Anthony isn't starting tonight. And I don't know if he's injured or if he's just preferred Garnacho. Because he probably yeah. thinks it's going to be a counter-attacking game and he wants to use Garnacho. But either way, Anthony yeah. at the moment is not guaranteed week in, week out. It's only Rashford. Because Anthony gets dropped for the big games as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But to be fair, I'm, I'm happy I'm not seeing that guy, bro. And I hope he doesn't play tonight because his performances have been shocking, bro. In the in the past, well, in the past, since the start of the season, his, his performances have been shocking. And I don't know if you've seen um, Ten Hag's quote about Anthony talking about how Anthony can improve. I'm like, no, like, yeah. He said <laughs> that I know Anthony has um hasn't been his best, but neither has anyone else. Kind of thing. That was the vibe he was doing. So basically, he's protecting him again. Yeah, of course. That's exactly I, what he's doing. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. Because I don't think we're going to see anything better than what we've already seen from Anthony. I don't think we're seeing anything better. We've already seen what he can do. We've seen his... He's like, his, his talent's got a ceiling. We've seen it already. Mm. Oh, 100%. Anthony's just... Uh, we keep it 100. He's not a good footballer, isn't it? He's just not a good footballer. Yes, I do think that... Um, I do think that there's more to come from him in terms of if he was in a better system, he'd be able to perform better. Mm. I am not denying that this Man United system is killing a lot of players, man. But this Anthony uh, leaves a lot to be desired. And you know what it is, yeah? Mm. It sounds weird because we talk about him all the time. I feel like I feel like he's gotten away with a lot. He's gotten away with a lot of criticism, you know? You know, you know the, yep. time out, the time out of the game that he had where he wasn't playing? I think that actually worked in his favour because mm. it's weird isn't it like the way sancho used to get cooked and that it's just like bro i never seen anthony get cooked like that bro and anthony uh, has been way worse blood like when man actually deep it yeah like sancho already outperformed anthony last season yeah and he had three months out mm. do you know what i'm saying but it's like when you actually deep it yeah like anthony's right up there for one of the worst signings that's ever played for this football club and He's getting away with it slightly. Oh, yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly getting away with it. He said Paul Parker said Rashford was never a good player. He's just a goal scorer. Lord of mercy. Where did he say this? Ooh. Wait, did he really say that? Yo, bro, find me the whole quote, please. Do you know what I'm saying? Paul Parker. You know what? Paul Parker's a real guy, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been saying it, bro. Like, the guy, he's never been a good footballer. He's always just been someone that put the ball in the net and everyone's forgotten about him. So... Mm -hmm. It's, it's one of them ones where, like, it's it's funny to me, bro. It's actually funny to me. And it's not a surprise, right? I remember you, man, I told you. I said this brother's a Crystal Palace player, yeah? And man thought it was a disrespect when I said it at the time. But I'm just keeping it a buck. Like, he's not, he's never been a good footballer, bro. Ever. Like, he doesn't have a single attribute, yeah? He doesn't have mm. a, a single attribute that's probably above a 6 out of 10, bro. Like, that's just, okay, cool. I've got it now. Hold on. Okay. He ain't got, he ain't got, um, hold on. okay, here's the the quote. It says, yeah, I was criticising Rashford when he scored goals because I wanted him to provide more for the team. That's me as well, boy. Now he's not scoring goals anymore and his decision making is still poor. Everyone was saying that he was winning Man United games, but the only thing they could come up with was that he was scoring goals. This sounds like Bruno. It has taken people a while, but now they are finally seeing that he is not contributing anything. He should, he should be because he's fast because he's a fast winger with decent technical abilities but in fact he's just a selfish player who lives on the back of being good in february rotted Oof. he said i think that manchester united rushed in too quickly to give him this huge contract overall he's been delivering a poor return throughout his man united career that's a fact yes it is he averages what seven goals a season or something like that yeah i think i think the fans are tired of seeing him faking an injury all the time he gets tackled they want to see him get up, chase back, get the ball back. What he's doing is something you would expect to see in a schoolyard from a petulant child. Bruh, you wouldn't expect it to happen at Old Trafford, not in a million years. But he does that every single time and it shows me that he might not be a player for Man United after all. He needs to change his game and his attitude. That's crazy. Everything you said I agree with. Bro, not a single lie was told, bruv. Paul Parker, bro. Absolutely nothing but facts bro like this is especially that um faking the injury thing i've noticed it as well <laughs> i noticed it when things no, don't go his way crazy or... you know 
That yeah. that is brazy from Paul Parker because that is see that's what I mean. People thought I went in. Nah, bro, that's in, bro. You know, like that. That's in, though. Like that is proper things, bro. What he said. He's taking a piss, and it's it's all facts, bro. There's nothing he said that that is even debatable, bro. This is this is facts, bro. And and mm. this is exactly what it is. The guy's not serious, bro. Mm. Like literally, and this is a lot of footballers, not just Rashford, but we're speaking about our club this brother's stats it shields him from so much criticism mm. so much yeah. because this guy and this is why i say uh, it sounds mad when you say it but bro he only scores goals blood you know like that that's it and the thing is people are like oh goals are the hardest thing to do in the game and all these other things bro nah not really bro because i don't know many footballers yeah that are goal scorers yeah that make the goals all by themselves most men that are goal scorers still have to rely on getting the ball from someone so you're benefiting from the team doing their job but you're not doing yours mm. do you know what i'm saying because you're the beneficiary of people getting the ball to you but you can't return the favor so mm. when he's talking at turn around and saying yo he's a selfish player he's spot on the guy plays for himself and we saw it under ralph that's why he got dropped mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying yeah. and and this is what it is he plays for himself bro and football's a team game you can't have Man out on the pitch just playing for themselves, bro. That's crazy. But what my man yes. did, the way Parker broke it down, there's nothing about that you can you can't argue anything he said. Everything he said is a hundred percent factual. Hundred percent factual. Um, I, I couldn't agree more, man. Everything we've a, been saying for the last years now, Paul Parker summed it up perfectly. No facts. Hey, big up Zane. Man said, yeah, I think Enkia is gonna get more goals in the league, bro. It's still early, man. Inketia got got the hat trick here, yeah, and what has it was that his only goals this season, or has he got more? Um, I don't know actually. Arsenal fans will know. The Arsenal fans in the chat will know. Has he got more, or is it just the hat trick he's got? Because bro, if it's just the hat trick, I'll be real. Yeah, I still, I'll still back Hoyland. He's got five rotted. <sighs> hey, bro, wow. listen, I'll still back my guy though. You know, like that, because Inketia is a bum. Do you know what I mean? But then again, Jesus is injured so much. Inketia is probably your main striker now. We'll see in it we'll see bro but i think it's gonna be tighter than you think bro don't write off rasmus bro because one thing we know about these strikers bro these man can have a purple patch at any moment you know like mm. that couple braces and all of a sudden everything's all right again because it's a stats driven um a stats driven game at the moment that's crazy though man hold on what paul parker cooked my man as well when was this is this recently as well or did i miss Ooh, something wait what yeah bro is this recently bro do you know what I mean, or or is this a? Oh yeah, because because the thing because that um thing made it to Sky Sports, bro. What? Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, they they um reported about it, saying oh Marcus Rashford replied to a fan channel. Da, 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 da. It made yeah, it to Sky yeah, Sports, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rashford yeah, had yeah. enough blood. He said, "Yo, loudest man." You know what I mean? He said, "Loudest, bro." He said, "Listen, listen, everyone send him for for me, but you man, I'm not having it from you, man, bro." <laughs> now I hear that. Do you know what I'm saying? I hear that. I hear that, bro. That's crazy, though. Man said, Paul Scholes, I think Bruno Fernandes needs to help Hoyland more. So young, he needs help. Hernandez needs to get closer to him. Bruv, Hernan bruv, Hernandez, bruv, Fernandez can't pass, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, man needs to just get out of here with all this. Like, Bruno's not a leader, bro. He's not going to help Hoyland, bruv. Hoyland's already a better player than him. How can he help him? But, but this is why I keep saying, like, you know, people praising Bruno Fernandez, the, the aggressive chance creator, the, the biggest chances creator in Europe. But mm. Hoyland's got zero goals in the Premier League. Because, okay, mm. cool, he's coming up against tough oppositions and, and all of that. He's still finding his feet, but at the same time, he's not getting any service from his wingers mm. or from the captain. He's meant to be the best chances creator in Europe. So what do you, what do you want him to do? Mm. do, you want him to do? Facts. Do you know what I'm saying? He's saying, I don't think they're tr they're, they aren't trying. I just think ability-wise, it's a very limited squad. Absolutely. I, I think yes and no. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I think... Talking about a limited squad, yeah, I, I'm not having it, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, bruv, look at our team. Like, what? 25, when you look at our 25 players and you look at Newcastle's 25 players, I'm not taking their team over us. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm not really trying to hear nothing about no limited squad. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to hear it. We don't have a, we don't have a cohesive style of play, yeah? Um, and we don't have a style of play that suits the players that we have. That's on the manager. That ain't on the players, bro. Do you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because our squad ain't that bad, bro. I'm not really trying to hear it, bro. It's a cop out. Man spent 400 million and you're trying to tell me that we, we ain't, our squad's still limited and all that, bro. Get out of here, man.
No, but I think he's. He, I think he meant. Um, he meant limited in terms of ability, which I agree with. It's limited in terms of players. ability because we're playing all of our shit players. To be fair, yeah, all the ballers are. They're mean, all the ballers ain't playing, squad, bruv. They're at home. <laughs> bro, man can't tell me yeah that like bro if everyone's fit yeah you still got you still got a squad you've got lasandro do you know what i'm saying like you've got guys that can play bro you got Varane, you got Cass, bro you know what i'm saying you got martial you got sancho bro you got donny van der beek you got ericsson you got amrabat like these guys can play bro even regulon can play bro since regulon's come in he's shown that he can play bro Dallo can play, bruv. People talk about, ah, oh, cool, defensively he's a bit suspect in that. Bro, he has some good games defensively, Dallo. And going forward, he can play, bruv. Like, you know what I mean? He, cool, he's not flipping Danny Alves. Cool, we know that. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But when men are talking about limited and all these other things, man, get out of here, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, bro, it's just excuses, excuses, man. Like, it's it's super easy, bro, to, to be blaming... Um, to be blaming the players all the time. It's like, as a manager, yeah, it's your job to get the best out of these players. 